welcome to Citrus Snack Sandwich. Today I have a really quick video for you on Hyperliquid. Hyperliquid's pretty cool. It's a, it's a, like it's a centralized exchange experience, but it's all done on chain. Okay, so I, I, I don't. This video shouldn't take me too long. Like, uh, but I'm not going to go through all of the little bells and whistles. But if you kind of go through and you kind of look at it, like you can see, it's everything that you you, you find in a centralized exchange is is pretty much here. Like they have the isolated versus cross. So uh, if you don't know the difference, I'll just kind of explain. Like this is a, I have a position here open on Soul for fun with, it's isolated. So the amount of the money that I've put in here, it can never, you know, affect my available to trade, like my, my margin account. However, if you use cross, then basically your margin account protects all of your open positions to some extent. So positions that lose a lot of money in one and are making money in another, they might they, they have an, a cross effect in that sense okay so that's kind of how i how i understand isolated and and can explain it in a couple words um the uh the leverage changes per asset so as you can see soul has a max leverage of 20 whereas like btc has a, a max leverage of 50 right so anyhow so you can kind of play around and there's quite a few support for quite a few assets in here as you can see so uh it's, there's there's a lot of possibility there. It has all of the like the the types of orders you want to take, the limits, the market. It has a take profit as you open. You can add you can add your limit order to uh, to open orders already, and you can even like uh, adjust them like like a centralized exchange by you know by dragging things as well. And as you can see, it's quite fast, and it doesn't ask me to confirm any kind of you know. Uh, any kind of transaction on on my MetaMask wallet or anything like that. Um, how to deposit money is you go to Arbitrum, right? So you send some USDC or USDT or USDC on Arbitrum, and then it'll bridge it across, like you would say, a oh, deposit. Now, obviously, you have to set up an account. Uh, I do have a, a referral link here, so you know I'm going to put this referral link in uh, the description of the video as well as you know in the tweet and you know I would ask you yeah give it a go if you're gonna try it might as well use this referral link you get a discount four percent and I get ten percent of your taker fees basically okay <laughs> which is kind of nice um, moving on uh, da, da, da. the experience is like I said exactly what you would expect from a uh, centralized exchange but it's on chain so let's swing over to the docs a little bit and there's a few key points so I'll show you inside here so First of all, it's a it's a it's a it's its own L one. So it's a blockchain completely dedicated 100% to running this central this this. I keep calling it a centralized exchange, but it's not right. So it's completely run Dex, okay? Perps Dex. It has this chain that's completely. So you can kind of think of it like Cosmos, uh, but it it's using Tendermint instead. Okay, so. Uh, the bridge, so like I said, it, it has an EVM bridge from uh, Arbitrum, so you can send money from Arbitrum to this, uh, and you can kind of read through how this works and how the bridge kind of validates, you know, on the on this on the hyper liquid uh, uh, chain and kind of you know two or three, and then it'll allow you to withdraw from there or bridging it over, and it'll show up. It, my bridging experience was very fast, so. Uh, I'm sure it will probably be for you. Um, the oracles are are based on Binance, o OKX, Kraken, Bybit, and Hobie, but they're weighted. So you know Binance is three times more powerful than uh, Hobie's. Uh, and then, but there's also you know several assets that are using like you know Uniswap, uh, Uniswap oracles because you know maybe these these assets are are tradable only on uh, only on chain and not through those 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 sexes that I showed you above. Uh, there's some other cool things like if we go to uh, the vaults here, the vaults are there's this hyper liquid provider vault and this is basically the vault that kind of does some market making as well as it uh, it's in charge of all the liquidations. So it, it's the liquidator vault basically. But then you have all of these like custom made private vaults that uh, people are using like uh anyone can just kind of come here and create their own vault and what it does is it kind of you, you would deposit money into your created vault and then you would use the money in that vault to do trading so it's kind of like copy trading 
okay? But uh, you, you know, you're, you're basically giving your your assets to to whoever owns this vault to uh, trade with, and then though you would you give him 10% of your profits basically when you, when you want to withdraw it, it reduces your 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 money by 10%. Okay. Uh, uh da, 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 moving on uh, what else? Uh uh so the order types for those of you that really really know this you can kind of pause this video and go through and see all the different order types that are there but like everything that you could possibly need for like DGN like market limits uh, stop losses and and all of this stuff is is present. Uh, they do have this insurance fund, and uh, the insurance fund is kind of basically uh, going to that liquidator vault. So the the thing that they tout about this is that like usually this liquidation is is, is segregated or or on, is only given to like the ability like it's it's not socialized it's not the, the entire community that gets to participate in it. it's only like the centralized exchange and maybe the, the executives or or that exact you know entity or maybe they have some specialized team that does it and stuff like this however whereas here it's it's completely socialized like anyone can deposit into that and, and take part in in the liquidation system okay <laughs> um obviously there are both uh uh, maker taker fees as well as uh funding so keep that in mind that like you know every eight hours or so you're going to have to pay funding fees so if you kind of go to my position i, I just kind of opened this recently you see my funding is still zero but it's only 200 bucks right <laughs> so you know you'll 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 have to keep that in mind you know obviously this is not like spot right this is you know if you're going to leverage up you're you're, you're going to pay some fin some funding and stuff like that so keep that in mind um i think that's pretty much it uh like obviously there's a lot more here you can read like you can just even pause the video right now and kind of see like all of this different stuff and obviously also i'm not a super uh i'm not a super informed uh perps trader I, i'm pretty new to it in a sense I, i've been yield farming for years but like not really perp trading so i'm kind of getting into the game and i kind of you know, I, I tried gains, I tried the GMX forks, uh, and and then now I'm trying this, and this I, I like it. I think it's pretty smooth, pretty easy. It's quick, it's fast. It's, you know, obviously, you know, whether my trades are good or not, I, I don't know. I, I might end up just losing all this money, but uh, anyhow, that's that's not what we're here to talk about. We're not. I'm not giving you trading signals. I'm just telling you that there's a possibility that. You might enjoy this if you are a person who's looking to do some perp trading. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today. I hope this has been useful and interesting. And thank you so much for watching and goodbye.